why the hell do you want to go with electrophysiology into the MRI? You have cath labs, you can do, uh, you have 99% uh, success rates in, in uh, uh, certain types of arrhythmias. It's an excellent offer, why do you want to do that? And I said, you need to think strategically to the future. What's going to be the future of electrophysiology? It's in three fields. It's in atrial fibrillation, it's in ventricular tachycardia, and attached to that, it's gonna be in the field of heart failure. What is the, the, the common thing that you can find in, in AF and in VT? It is that as a rule, it is substrate-based, that are substrate-based arrhythmias. They are driven, promoted by fibrosis or other structural changes of the musculature that, that are visible. And then it's just a matter of common sense. If you, can, if you can see what the target is, and if you can implement that into your treatment strategy, it's a big advancement. Yeah, okay, they said, but you can do it now. Nowadays, you can take an MRI and you can upload it in an EP workstation and you take it from there. Yes, I said, that's, that's correct, that's right, but it's only a, a small percentage of the advantage which can be gained by the, by the uh, MRI technology. There's a lot more. When we go from diagnostics to treatment and when we consider ablation strategies, it's on the induction of tissue changes in individual patients. We cool down or we heat up. And we, we need to do it with a high degree of precision. Cooling down and heating up is temperature-based induction of, of tissue injury. And you can visualize that in the, in the MRI. It's the only platform which gives you the information about structural changes, tissue changes that are induced by ablation and that is the hugest gain when you transfer electrophysiology into into an MRI uh, environment so consider the following workflow you have a patient with a structural based arrhythmia substrate based arrhythmia you diagnose the patient in the same environment you treat the patient in the same environment you control whether or not you have reached predefined treatment goals. In the same environment, you have a complete control about potential complications because you visualize everything all of the time. 